Hello, I'm Eric Apple, principal and founder of Eric Apple Law. Welcome to another edition of our blog pod. Today, we're talking about moves you can make in your 40s to reach long-term financial goals. It's easy to put off planning for the future when the present is so demanding. Unlike your 20s and 30s, when retirement seemed like a distant event, your 40s are when your financial responsibilities become more palpable, now and for retirement. You may be earning more income than ever, so you can benefit from planning your taxes carefully. Perhaps you have increased expenses as a result of home ownership. If you have kids, now may also be the time that you're thinking about or preparing to pay for college tuition. When all of these elements of your financial life meet, they require some thoughtful planning and strategic investing. Here are a few ways that you can start to prepare for some future goals. First, make saving for retirement a priority and beef up your investments. You want to start by making the largest possible contributions to your employer's retirement plan. Making saving for retirement your main priority while simultaneously beefing up your investments. At the very least, you should put enough into your company's retirement plan to take full advantage of its contribution matching program. A word of caution. If you put all of your retirement savings into tax deferred accounts, you might get hit hard by taxes when you retire. That's because withdrawals from 401k plans and traditional IRAs are taxed at the retiree's ordinary income tax rate. This makes contributing to a Roth IRA a good idea. Your contributions are after tax, but your withdrawals are tax free as long as you are over 59 and a half and have owned the Roth IRA for five years or more. It's important to note that employees in lower tax brackets are typically better off diverting some of their savings to Roth IRAs and other taxable accounts because of the benefit of tax deferral is not as valuable as it is to those in high tax brackets. Conversely, if you are in a high tax bracket, you should contribute as much as possible to tax deferred accounts. This is because when you take withdrawals in retirement, you will likely be in a lower tax bracket. Next, don't skimp on retirement savings to pay your children's college education. Whatever you do, don't neglect retirement savings in order to pay for your children's college education. Why? Simple. You or your children can borrow money to pay for college, but you cannot borrow money to pay for retirement. In addition, when investing for retirement, time is indeed money. The more you can invest early on, the greater the likelihood that you'll have more money when you retire. Also, Working longer, say well into your 60s, may not be an option. Corporate downsizing and or health problems could limit how long you can work. The fact is, saving more than you need for retirement will allow you to help pay off your children's student loans when you retire. Additionally, make the most of what your employer is offering. Your employer may well be offering more than a paycheck. For example, some companies match employee contributions to health savings accounts. Others offer retiree health benefits, pensions, and more. Taking advantage of employee benefits like these can help you build additional wealth and provide for a greater sense of security in retirement. Lastly, pay off your debt logically. Sure, it would be great to retire without a mortgage. You would eliminate one of your greatest expenses, which in turn could allow you to withdraw less money from your retirement savings during market downturns to pay for unforeseen expenses. However, in your 40s, there may be other ways and better ways to use your money, particularly if you have a low interest mortgage. For example, it's better to pay off des debts with higher interest rates, such as credit cards or vehicles. Then, if you have money left over, you could make extra mortgage payments. Consider this. On a 30-year mortgage, if you make one extra monthly payment a year, you'll knock off four years of the term of your loan. Stay tuned for our next blog pod, and in the meantime, if you'd like to find out more about estate planning, please feel free to visit our website at ericapplelaw.com, where you can learn more, give us a call, or drop us a note. Until next time, thank you for joining us here. Please like, subscribe, and share so we can help you and your loved ones become more informed and we can work together to live more powerfully into the future.